college in 2006, compared to 41 percent in other leading states. The economic crisis is forcing a local nonprofit to limit the number of families they help this holiday season. Action News reporter Tina Patel tells us how Help of Southern Nevada is changing the way they help. Mina Rodriguez is trying to take care of her kids, but she says it's not always easy. I work, and as a single mother, it's hard at the end of paychecks to, you know, get stuff for the holidays. So she came to help of Southern Nevada today to get the extra things to make Thanksgiving special. I'm here in Las Vegas by myself and my family's in California. I don't have no one in an organization like this. They're good to, good to be here. Help has been providing Thanksgiving dinners to local families for more than a decade. So they've got a system to make it easy for recipients. Families register ahead of time and say how many members there are in their families so they can get the right size turkey and the right amount of sides for the holiday. But there's still not enough food to go around. Because of the economy, donations have been down, and this year HELP had to put a cap on 1,200 families. Last year, they helped 1,400. Yolanda Cannon is grateful she put in her request early. It makes a great bit of difference, especially during the Christmas time and Thanksgiving time. Tina Patel, Channel 13, Action News. Thanksgiving dinner came early for at-risk children and seniors today. Elaine Wynn joined Las Vegas Mayor Oscar Goodman to hold a special Thanksgiving Day lunch at Le Cordon Bleu Culinary School. The goal, pull the, pull the community together in time for Thanksgiving. With my senior family and with the children, we're all one family as it is. So if everybody could get on that page, we there's what nothing Vegas couldn't do. If we'd all get on the one page, everybody being as one. And this is really nice. This is a good start. Along with a delicious meal, the students and seniors were treated to a special...